our body is continuously working in exercising different metabolic activities that will certainly release some waste, which has to be eliminated. What is this process called? The process of elimination of wastes from the body is brought about by the excretory system. The wastes produced in our body can be a metabolic waste, nitrogenous waste, or undigested food. Removal of wastes from the body can be by ingestion and excretion, wherein the removal of undigested food from our body is called ingestion, while the removal of metabolic and nitrogenous wastes from the body is called excretion. Can one of you list the parts of the human excretory system? The excretory system comprises a pair of kidneys, a pair of ureters, a single urinary bladder, and an opening called the urethra. Talking in detail, the first organ, the kidneys, are bean-shaped structures that are reddish-brown in color. They are located on either side of the backbone. Each kidney is about 11 centimeters long, 5 centimeters wide, and 3 centimeters thick. The kidney is divided into two major structures, called the outer renal cortex and the inner renal medulla. Both regions contain the structural and functional unit of the kidney, the uriniferous tubules, or nephrons. Millions of functioning units, called nephrons, are responsible for the filtration of blood and the regulation of chemicals. A nephron consists of a filtering unit of tiny blood vessels, called a glomerulus, present in a Bowman's capsule attached to a tubule. Below the glomerulus, the tubule has three distinct regions the proximal convoluted tubule, PCT, loop of Henle, and the distal convoluted tubule, DCT. The Henle's loop connects the proximal convoluted tubule to the distal convoluted tubule. The next part of the excretory system is the ureters, which are thin muscular tubes. Each ureter emerges out from the hilum region of each kidney, connected to the renal pelvis. The sole function of the ureters is to carry urine from the kidneys to the urinary bladder. The last part is the urinary bladder, which is a sac-like structure that lies in the pelvic cavity of the abdomen. It stores urine temporarily. Being muscular in nature, the urinary bladder has the capacity to store urine for a period. The urethra is a membranous tube that conducts urine to the exterior. The urethral sphincters keep the urethra closed and open only at the time of micturition, which is the process of urination. Can you guess the tissue that is filtered in the kidneys to form urine? Yes, blood is filtered in the kidneys for formation of urine. Let us understand the process of formation of urine. The kidneys filter the unwanted substances from the blood and produce urine to excrete them. The nephron is the basic functional unit of blood filtration and urine production. There are three main steps of formation of urine. Glomerular filtration, reabsorption, secretion. The first step is glomerular filtration. Each nephron has a glomerulus, which is the site of blood filtration. The glomerulus is a network of capillaries surrounded by a cup like structure, the Bowman's capsule. As blood flows through the glomerulus, blood pressure pushes water and solutes from the capillaries into the capsule through a filtration membrane. This glomerular filtration begins the urine formation process. The second step is reabsorption. After glomerular filtration, the resulting filtrate contains waste and other substances the body needs like essential ions, glucose, amino acids, and smaller proteins. When the filtrate exits the glomerulus, it flows into a duct in the nephron, called the renal tubule. As it moves in the tubules, the useful substances, 
and some water are reabsorbed through the tube wall into the adjacent capillaries. This reabsorption of vital nutrients from the filtrate is the second step in urine formation. The filtrate absorbed in the glomerulus flows through the renal tubule, where nutrients and water are reabsorbed into capillaries simultaneously, and the waste ions and hydrogen ions pass from the capillaries into the renal tubule. This process is called secretion. The secreted ions combine with the remaining filtrate and become urine. The urine flows out of the nephron tubule into a collecting duct. It passes out of the kidney, through the renal pelvis, into the ureter, and down to the bladder. Let us understand the components of urine. Urine is about 95% water and 5% waste product. The nitrogenous wastes excreted in urine include urea, creatinine, ammonia, and uric acid. Ions such as sodium, potassium, hydrogen, and calcium are also excreted. Hence, we have understood the excretory system, its parts, and the process of formation of urine.